Hey everybody, I'm taking this Cal Stanford Big Game timeout, to which I'm wearing my Cal hat backwards, uh, as you can see here, right? Ta-da, go Bears. Life member of the Alumni Association, but I digress. To criticize Nancy Hoghead Makar, who claimed she was some sort of legal assistant or legal consultant uh, to, I guess, suppose the Eric Kinsman team against Jameis Winston, who went on this rant of making these uh, really ridiculous accusations that have no basis in actual fact regarding Jameis Winston and Uber incident. And my point to her is, hey, first of all, that, de that uh, matter has a great deal of many holes, among them why it took so long, and I mean so very long, for this to come to public view. It was March, it was March 16th of 2016 this is november 18th of 2018 and that in and of itself that's yeah that in and of itself should give pause to anyone a b here's the other problem the other problem is that the when a person files a complaint on uber when a driver does they can tag the account if it happened quickly you tag that person's account so if you tag that person's account you don't need to use their name why use the name, okay? And why suspend his account if his, if his account wasn't tagged? Additionally, he says there were other people in the car, not just uh, he and she. And then she says it was just he and her. And my point is, it's not a matter of that, it's a matter of something else. My point is this, why did it take so long to come forward? Now this next part of my vlog has to do with Miss Makar, or is it Hogshead Makar? Miss Makar claims to be a champion. She wants to use white privilege, I, I guess, to help blacks. That's what her tweet was, right? She says she's working on a project because I had said to her that her take was racist. That is, that she has no problem trumping up an excuse or a set of accusations against the black man. But if this black man says, hey, in the course of our tweets, you you're expressed a veiled racism, she then shoots back that I'm being, I'm threatening her. Think about that. The classic case of a white woman accusing a black guy of doing something. And yet she f fires back that that wasn't racist. And it was. And this is the same person who then says that she's working on a project to help black people? That is a fucking joke. And I cursed right there, okay? It is a complete joke. No, in, in the entire course of this exchange, she didn't bother asking ask me any question at all regarding, you know, experience of blacks or anything like that or say, or ex express any sympathy, yet she expects me to hear her and talks and, and assumes that I don't, you know, assumes a lot of things that are, are ridiculous. And when I, and, and this is a three-time Olympic champion who risks, you know, someone on Twitter getting into an exchange with her that makes her not look like a champion. And so I said, when I said, you know, you're a winner in sports, let's keep it that way. I don't want to do that. I don't want to you know, be the engine of negative tweets about a three-time Olympic champion for the United States. That's ridiculous. But that's the position. And she should have figured that out rather than thinking, you know, subconsciously, oh, this black guy is threatening me. I mean, come on. Seriously? That's racist. Nancy, that is complete racist. And for you to tell me it's not racist is more racist. That's ridiculous.